But most people, because they're carnally minded, all they want to do is talk about the storm rather than, guess what? There's peace and there's calm on the other side of the storm. Amen? So your response is what matters to this. Because, why? you're going to have storms. You're going to have all these things come on. But you're going to have to decide how you're going to respond. And when that storm comes up, listen, it's not in here. Storms don't hit in here. You may bring some in with you, but they don't hit here. So when you're here, oh, it's easy. Oh, yes, by his stripes I'm healed. Oh, yes, I'm blessed. He's blessed me with every spiritual blessing in heaven. Oh, that's easy in here. Why? Because there's no wind. There's no storm. There's no waves and all that stuff. But whenever the wind is pushing you down and you got to brace yourself, and when the storm and the waves are slapping you in the face, that's when you have to be able to respond correctly and go, no, by his stripes I was healed. And because I was, I am. And this is the way it will be. And you have to say that in the middle of the storm. You have to listen. Jesus didn't get up there and go, wow, storm. Who? what a storm. He got up there and said, peace, be still. He didn't even say wind. Now, I'm talking to you now. Waves, you hang on a second. I'll be with you in a minute. Right now, wind. I, see, he didn't do that. He just got up there and said, peace, be still. And immediately, everything became calm. You have to be able to speak to your storm in the middle of it. Guess what? Jesus wasn't on the boat by himself. He had 12 other guys there with him, listening to him, waiting to see what he was going to do and waiting to see if what he said would actually come to pass. There's times when you're going to have to get up in front of people that don't believe like you and they're all waiting to watch you fall, fail, mess up, make a mistake, prove you wrong, whatever it is, but you still have to get up and speak if you want your storm to, to stop. And in the course of you stopping your storm, you're going to stop their storms too. And they may or may not agree with you or walk off. It's, it's amazing. We've seen storms, I'm talking about physical storms, disappear. I mean, dissipate and disappear that quick after speaking to them. We've seen it happen. And then people, it's amazing. People say, you, you don't really believe that was your prayers or your words, do you? And you know what I tell them? Well, I know it wasn't yours. <laughs> That's what I know. Why? Because you were standing there looking at the storm, right? And buying a raincoat, right? So it, it wasn't your words that made it go away. And of course, I believe my words affect things. If I didn't, I wouldn't speak them. Amen? Amen. If, they, if we're not going to believe the word, come on, do something else. This is either true or it's not. And if it is, live it, which means do what it says, regardless of what people think. Because honestly, who cares what people think? What they think isn't going to change your circumstances. What you say, according to that word, will change your circumstances. What you don't want, listen, 